Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail art tutorial, Julie will be sharing 10 easy nail art designs that are perfect for beginners. All of these nail art designs are super easy to create, and you can choose to wear one as an accent nail, mix or match a few, or you could do all 10. Guys, let us know down in the comments which of these 10 designs are your favorites. And now let's get started. Hey, it's Julie. Now let's get started with the video. Before we begin any of these designs, it's always best to start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails and help your manicure last as long as possible. For the first design, I'll be using this really pretty turquoise color and applying two coats of that to my nail and letting it fully dry. Next, I'm using a gold metallic polish and a detail nail art brush and creating a chevron pattern. To do this, I did one side of the chevron first and then connected it on the other side. I also started off with thinner lines and built them up so that they would be even. If in the event your lines aren't even, that's totally okay. Just take your base color and sharpen them up once the gold has dried. Seal in your design with your top coat of choice, and that's it. Super easy, minimal, but still really cute. For the next design, I'm starting with a periwinkle purple polish and applying two coats of that until it's opaque, but I applied the second coat right before I started the next step. I'll be using these holographic silver flakies from China Glaze and to apply them I just picked them up on my finger and I pushed them onto slightly tacky polish. I did try to concentrate the majority of the flakies around the cuticle area of my nail so that it kind of looks like a gradient. Then once I was happy with the amount of flakies I just went over the whole thing with my finger to smooth it down and I went around my nail with a wooden stick to make sure none of the flakies were sticking up or sticking off my nail. Smooth out the surface with a layer of shiny top coat and you're done. I think adding these flakies to any manicure jazzes it up and it's super easy to do. Moving on to the next design, I'll be using a beige neutral color and applying two coats of that and allowing it to dry. For this nail, I'll be creating a arrow, and to do that, I'm using a black nail art striping polish and creating a line vertically down my nail. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can always go back in and touch it up, but I find using a liner polish like this definitely helps a lot. It's kind of hard to explain the shape of an arrow, it's just an arrow, but I ended up looking at some pictures online to get inspo, so I suggest you do the same thing so that you kind of know what you're doing. And you totally don't have to do an arrow, I just think it looks really cool to do a graphic black design on a neutral nail like this. And lastly, I just took a little bit of my base color on a separate brush and went around the image to sharpen up the lines. For this next look, we'll be using some bright neon polishes. So to really make the color pop, I'll be applying a coat of white polish first and allowing it to fully dry. Next, I took a hot pink, a bright purple, a blue, and that turquoise shade, and I just applied that to the four corners of my nail, if you can visualize that. I overlapped them, and I used the brush of each polish to kind of blend them together. You want it to look almost watercolor-like or tie-dye-ish. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just pretty much the background for the design. Smushing colors around on your nail like this can get kind of messy, so if you do go outside of your nail, you can always just clean it up with an angled brush dipped in nail polish remover. Next, grab a black polish and remove most of the polish from one side of the brush, then lightly drag the brush over the nail for a brush stroke kind of technique, but you don't want to cover a lot of the nail, and I did shorter strokes so that it kind of looks like an animal print pattern. 
I think neon and black designs look especially cool with a matte top coat, but you could totally apply a shiny one if you'd prefer. Moving along, again for this design, we'll be starting with a white base coat. I'm applying two coats of that and allowing it to fully dry. Next, you're gonna need a rainbow assortment of polishes. I'm starting with hot pink and then red, orange, yellow, and so on, but you can totally go in any order you want, and I'm just using a large dotting tool to create a line of rainbow dots down the center of my nail. I ended up doing this a little bit crooked because I am doing this upside down and on camera, so if you're doing this at home, I suggest turning your nail towards you so that you can see it properly and make sure your line is straight. For the next easy design, we'll be using a sheer pinky base and applying two coats of that to the nail and letting it dry, but you don't want to let it fully dry because we'll be using another little special effects sort of powder, but this is a pigment and it's holographic pigment. Now a lot of people think you have to have a gel top coat to apply this, but you totally don't. You can apply it to regular polish. To do this, I just sponge on the powder to my nail, in this case I'm doing half my nail, and then I use my finger to rub it in and really smooth it down. You want your polish to be tacky but not wet so that you don't smear it when you press down onto it. Then the secret to making holographic powder work on regular polish is to seal it in with a water-based top coat. And it doesn't even have to be a top coat. I'm actually using a peelable base coat that's water-based, but oftentimes foil top coats are water-based as well. This next design is a glamorous mix between a French manicure and a chevron design. To begin, I'm applying one coat of an opaque gold polish and letting it dry. Next, I'll be applying a thin coat of a glitter polish over top. This is a good technique to do if you want the glitter look but you don't want it to be too chunky of glitter and you don't want to do the sponge technique. Applying a similar metallic color first gives it a good base and really helps the glitter pop. Next, I'm using a black striping polish and painting the corners of my nails in a V shape. So like in a French manicure, the French tip would be in a curve. For this, you want it to be a strong V shape. And then I just switched to a regular black polish to fill in the tip completely. Finish with a generous layer of top coat to smooth out the glittery surface and that's it. Moving along, next we'll be using a light blue polish for the base color. Next I dipped a large dotting tool into white polish and then I flipped the dotting tool over to the smaller end and I dragged that into sort of a petal shape. I did clusters of three or four of these to form flowers continuing off my nail. Then to finish the design, I just added a dot of gold polish to the center of each flower. This next design is an abstract but super minimal look that I love to wear with dark colors. I'll be applying this dark slate gray polish and letting it dry. Then with a detail brush, I dipped that into gold glitter polish and I just painted little dashes all over my nail. I kind of followed a polka dot pattern, but I didn't try super hard to make it perfect because this is supposed to be abstract and artistic looking. Then I just popped on a matte top coat to really enhance the color and texture of the gold polish.
And for the last design, I'll be using a bubblegum pink polish and painting my nail in half with that. I love designs that leave a little bit of exposed nail. I think it's very trendy. And this is one of my favorites to do because you can change the direction in which you apply the colored polish to your nail on all of your nails if you do this as a full manicure. Then grab your black striping polish or just black nail polish on a liner brush and create some lines on top of the color block. I like to do this sort of randomly for each nail if I do a full manicure of this design. I just think it's really cool and geometrical. Finish with top coat to smooth everything out and you're done. And there you have 10 super easy nail designs. If you'd like to watch more Cute Polish videos, you can click on these boxes here. And you can click on the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. If you'd like to check out my personal nail art channel, you can click on the circle here.